So this was on Quora. Someone was saying, what's it like? So this, this is the old school multiple personalities, right? Yeah. And it's real, real good stuff over here. So it's a lot of people responding or whatever, but the main upvoted one or whatever, right? Because you know how they ask questions. They yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So basically someone was dealing with this himself, right? And they said, what was it like to have an alter? So they call their multiple personality an alter um, who dated another person even though the host already had a romantic relationship. So basically, what's it like for all, what we've been saying with the Tulpa? What's it like if your fucking altar inside of you starts to wander a little bit, yeah. right? And then all these people that are involved in this community and cheating <laughs> and cheating, they all the, <laughs> the people cheating, they go, this uh, should be in the uh, cheating category. <laughs> it's all the people in the cheating the community. This is uh, the in, this should be in cross post Our infidelity. infidelity. <laughs> Are, that's so funny your jig being like hey i was looking i was on your computer and why do you have bookmarked our infidelity i didn't bookmark it <laughs> yeah my, my altar did my he's altar got, look he's got his own profile on google chrome <laughs> my altar did so all these people responded but they're actually all these people basically explaining what it's like and if it is difficult for them they're having a hard time with this I whole bet. thing right so she, this is, uh, and they call it multiplicity is what the core thing is, right? Oh, that's, a, oh yeah, yeah. Multiple. So I think the Tulpa people and the multiplicity people have a different thing because the the Tulpa people believe that there is a, a person living inside of them. Yeah. The multiplicity people think that one person takes it over, then the other person takes it over. Yeah, 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 okay. So they disappear into the nether realm. And yeah, they're the like, person. they black out almost. Yeah, exactly. Whereas the Tulpa people are, we're coexisting. They have the coexist bumper sticker with two of the things are just them. You know what I mean? Right, right. So they, Basically, this is what their experiences with. They said, I'm actually going through this right now. Funny that you mention it. And then he goes, our by with our main protector, Vitani. Vitani. So Vitani, that's why I, one of my main things is I liked about it. She's got a good name for her, uh, her sec second personality, right? Well, that's Vitani's name. She didn't make that up. Well, she didn't make it up. I know. Yeah. Um, and she also says her protector, right? So basically, kind of the yeah, idea Yeah, protects is her from getting in trouble for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the protector. Yeah. The also thing, I guess what it act, what the kind of scenario is, is she has this Vitani person, you know, that's like in the nether realm or whatever. But if you bump her or something like this, she's like, I wouldn't do that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Just it's basically like, buddy, I would take it easy on that. It's, and a Hulk, you, it's a Hulk scenario. It's a Hulk scenario, and then you go and you go, Vitani's getting angry. <laughs> Vitani's getting upset. <laughs> yeah, that's. Vitani's getting upset. <laughs> She doesn't like so. Vitani sort of takes over when she's when she's wronged or whatever, right? Yeah. So if you don't do the, your land acknowledgement or something like that, Vitani takes Before over. Before smashing. Yeah, but she goes. So I, Shelby, I'm in a long-term relationship with my fiance. We've been together for nearly six years with no end in sight. However, Vitani has gotten really bored with me being in a stable relationship. I guess we all got a little Vitani I mean, inside of us, eh? The way she phrases it, with no end in sight, sounds like you're a little bored with that, too. <laughs> that was not usually, yeah, it's not usually pumped about being in a relationship with, with no end in sight. <laughs> no, no end in sight's aggressive, right? <laughs> Well, no, Vitani sort of took over for that one part of the sentence. Oh, I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. But that is, so, yeah, so Vita so she's like, baby, I love you. You think I I'm very happy. You couldn't be happier. Yeah, Vitani. Vitani, yeah, uh, that's my. I think, but that, do you know what I mean? Every one of us has a little bit of, our, we have our, a little bit of a, our own Vitani inside of us. I'm a little bit Vitani. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit piece of shit. I'm a little bit Shelby. I'm a little bit Vitani. <laughs> so she's a little bit Shelby and she's a little bit Vitani, yeah, right? Been there. I'm a, li I'm a little bit Vitani. So she's having this, right? And Vitani wants to bone, right? Yeah. B baby, Vitani wants to bone, Tani's but she's a girl, one. so it's funner. To, I wish this was a guy because it's funner to do guy voices. But yeah, but, so again, she, but again, no guy can pull this off. It's just the. Um, the, you know a guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. A dude Impossible. having the absolute absurdity to be like, I, you think I'd, I'd love to just be just with you, but George, however, yeah, George <laughs> likes to smash. He likes to wet the whistle. <laughs> Ain't no stopping George when he's on one, you know. So, but uh, Roberto's got a bit of a uh, <laughs> bit of a tongue for wandering, <laughs> a bit of a strange fiend. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, but Tommy boy inside me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was Tommy boy who uh, shit on the floor. I'm a traditional man. I would never do anything to hurt you, but Tommy boy just fucked your sister. 
But I will tell you, Tommy, Tommy just banged your sister. <laughs> So he said, especially since she told my partner that it was always her who he slept with for years and not actually me. So Vita- so he's banging her and then he goes, you've been banging Vitani the whole time. Yeah. Which is interesting. Now that he knows, he has no interest in sleeping with her and she's got Nancy. That is such a guy thing too because she probably kept, like he knew she was Shelby, <laughs> but then she kept being like, I'm Vitani and he's just like, yeah, I don't know, just, I just want to smash. He basically, he just, he heard it. And yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Just but like, th- well, unfortunately though, that's what this guy said. She goes, she's been, she goes, we've been having sex all this time. Sometimes I switch in my other personality, but then one time during sex, she goes, I have a confession. I'm not Shelby. You've been banging Vitani oh, this whole Vitani time. Vitani was pretending. Vitani was saying I'm Shelby. Oh. And then Vitani broke the news. He said, listen, you've been banging Vitani this whole time, right? And then the boyfriend said, what the fuck? <laughs> So the boyfriend's like, no, 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 no. I'm in love with Shelby. She goes, you fuck it. That's like next level psychotic girlfriend. Goes, you know, you've been fucking cheating on me. <laughs> goes, no, I haven't. You banged Vitani. You banged Vitani. For starters. She told me. For starters, you banged Vitani. I can't believe what you made her do. Me and you haven't had sex in two years. He goes, what? You bone all the time. It's like you fucking spend all your time with Vitani. You got none for me. So he basically goes... Uh, what my guess would be, like this multiple personality thing's obviously getting out of hand, and he's like, "Okay, I'm uh, like I'm not gonna have sex if th- until you get this whole thing figured out." Because yep. she goes, "Hey, you, like you gotta stop. You're fucking just so you know, you've been having sex with my multiple personality." And he goes, "Okay, well, tell me. I guess let me know when it's just you, and then we'll have sex when it's you." And then he has, he goes, oh, "But Tony's not gonna like that." <laughs> So that's what he says is that uh, the partner's only been boning Vitani. And Vitani, who's a girl that was getting all this dick and now she's unhappy, by the way, maybe should have kept her fucking mouth shut, right? Yeah. Vitani had a good thing going. Vitani's making problems. Right? If you're a guy that you transform into any body and then you have this thing where you could transform into any guy's body and then bone the girl, would you tell the would you ever tell one of the girls? Or are you just yeah, you keep that to yourself, keep that to right? Yourself. Yeah, you go, all I have to do is go snap my fingers, transfer into any dude's body, and then bang his wife. <laughs> yeah, it's like, would you yeah, a hundred percent. So Vitani should have kept her stupid mouth shut. She goes, So f- for over a little over a year, Vitani has expressed her desire to be able to see someone on her own. My partner is fine with her talking to other people and sending pics as long as she saves everything. But he set the limitation at sex, and it's seems like Vitani is respecting those boundaries. (laughs) So that is quite a good one, right? So basically, at this point, the boyfriend said, you're allowed to sex with... If Vitani wants to sex with other guys, but she doesn't want Vitani to be boning the other guys. Yeah, which is fair. Yeah, so this is where... Yeah, I guess guess when you really realize, like, oh, I'm in a long-term relationship with someone who I didn't know is, like, completely batshit insane. Mm -hmm. And so she's sending all these nudes to other people, but it's not her, it's Vitani. But... This is where it gets weird. Vit- <laughs> this is where it gets weird. Vitani appeared to be talking to quite a few different guys at once. Vitani's a bit of a hoe. I listen to this part. She goes, but I tried to stay out of it because it was Vitani's business. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to get involved in Vitani's a bit of a slut, right? Yeah. And then she goes, Vitani's been sending, you know, she wakes up, Vitani's sending nudes of their body to everyone. But that's, you know, what happens with, with she's not trying to slut shame Vitani, you know what yeah, I mean? It's like if you have like a Siamese twin or like, whatever, and one of them has a date, and then you're yeah, 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 dragged yeah. along. Vitani's basically for the streets is kind of what they're saying, right? Then I started getting texts during the day from a guy who used to be decent friends with, but I ultimately blocked on everything because he was too weird for me. Turns out Vitani has taken a liking to him and is forcing me to interact with him regularly. So fucking I- nerve to say that he was too weird for her as, as you're writing this. You go, that guy, weird. <laughs> That's a weird guy. I had to block him. This fucking yeah. So, anyways, my alter ego uh, has been unblocking this dude and talking to him. Now he wants to talk to me, but this guy's a weirdo. So she now she's stuck in conversations with this friggin' weirdo, right? Uh, that is it. All it's basically uh, uh, you kind of you wake up and then you go. Vitani's been sending nudes to the plumber again. You know what I mean? <laughs> And you wake up and you go, you know, there's the fucking garbage man smoking a cigarette beside you. And you go, what the hell? You go, what? And she goes, free garbage uh, service for the next year. He goes, it is free. <laughs> yeah, basically. So every time she comes to, she's with, a, you know, texting a different guy. She's bang, you know, texting her son's kids, teachers, all the sort of thing. Right. Every guy, she, she calls the guy uh, to, 
you know, her fight with her AT and T bill blacks out. Yeah, you know, yeah. then she's banging on that a guy. Date with him. She's on a date with that guy. So Vitani's for the streets, right? And she goes, I've had tons of conversations with Ta- Vitani about setting this boundaries with this guy, but I don't get how if it's a split personality, how her and Vitani get to talk. Does she leave notes for her? I think uh, I I don't know. That's a good question. I almost envision it like uh, almost like a movie where they're like in a room together, but they're just in her brain, like sitting. That's what I think. But that sounds other. like more like the Tulpa thing. Yeah, there's some holes in this stuff. Yeah, Ryan. But she, I, I think they might have to do leave notes to each other, like in Groundhog Day, or sort like of Memento situation. style, where she fucking writes it on her chest. Backwards. I think that's what she has to do. Yeah, and she wakes up and she has to go. Yeah, and she goes, Vitani, uh, hey, take it easy with all the dicks, sort of thing. Hey, Vitani, can we just can we lay off? Is it fine if we just take it a bit <laughs> easy? You're banging everybody. Hide your kids, hide your wife, Vatani. He's banging everybody. But sometimes he doesn't under, but he doesn't understand now, and he's actually really respectful. I've had to have conversations with Vatani, especially since the guy didn't quite understand in the beginning that it was Vatani and I are different people. So basically, the guy, she's like, hey, I don't know how to tell you this, but that wasn't me you sending me these messages. Like, oh, someone's fucking with you? Yeah, Vatani. Yeah, who's man. that? It's my ultimate personality. He's just like, whatever. I'm just glad to smash. Yeah, just happy to smash. Just doing my thing as long as we do the land acknowledgements first. <laughs> so that's a tough convo to go to the guy you, that you've been sending nudes to and be like, hey, we got to stop sending nudes that I never meant to in the first yeah, place. Yeah, and but. you'll be like, yeah, it's all good. Anyways, just I'll talk to Vitani later. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, because you, but again, you're like, <laughs> it's like, true. I'm me, but then you're like, you might be hearing from Vitani, and you go, okay, cool, it's later. <laughs> yeah, because you're right. She goes, just so you know, that wasn't sending me him the nudes. It was like, who was it? My multiple personality. She's still interested in sending her nudes, but like, I'm not that interested. Yeah, but and he's also like, I like your multiple personality. I don't like you. Yeah, I like the multiple personality better. Yeah. So he's like, hey, this, win, is, a, win for him. this is a conversation between me and Vitani. I don't even know why you're bringing this up. Yeah, you think he's like, me why do you, you mind your fucking business, lady? <laughs> Yeah, this is none of your business. You have a boyfriend. Yeah. Hey, why don't we just part our separate ways? <laughs> but he does understand now, and he's being respectful. So, yeah, you go, okay, all right. Like, Imagine he's like, hey, quick question. Um, Do you have an IUD? Just because Vitani said she does. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> Vitani said. wondering if you do. Vitani's very, Vitani's pro uh, choice. <laughs> Uh, but you're she's pro life. I just need to know. That'd be bad. You have to. Yeah, she doesn't want to get an abortion, so she has to take nine months to try not to transition. <laughs> he seems like a different person around her, so he's nicer around Vatani. From the messages I've seen and read, he seems so sweet to her. He doesn't know the difference. He's he's really sweet when he's talking to her multiple personality. Yeah, because she's not fucking mean like you. He's not. Yeah, you're because you're a bitch, man. Vatani, yeah. you should just let Vatani take over the body. She's actually everyone likes her. She's the belle of the ball. <laughs> She's the belle of the ball. She's, you know, a yeah. hit. You're just this, you know. She's probably having a struggling to. Grumpy old guy out. telling your fucking friends to not even have sex with anyone. And it's weird for me because I can't stand him. But nice to see her get to have that relationship with someone. So she can't stand this guy, but she's happy that Vatani can, you know, even if I hate him. And she can't stand him because he's so weird. He's such a weirdo, so you know weird. what I mean? But Vitani doesn't seem to discriminate as much as her about people. She's weird shames him. Yep. Her one personality doesn't weird shame, but her other personality weird shames a bit. Ultimately, it's the kind of it's kind of weird having a part of me who's dating someone I don't like, but with good boundaries, I think it's more doable. Plus, I'm happy to see Vitani feeling happily. So yeah, you don't want Vitani unhappy, but hope this helps to answer your question. That's what she says. So that's even crazier than the Talpa stuff, right? And then uh, they go, the main front, this one person is just explained just a little bit. They go, oh, I've also experienced this. I was dating a man with another multiple system. His system's main frontier was married. This was all open, no secrets. The big problem was that she had a very jealous and possessive man. Someone else in my system started dating someone else from his system. So <laughs> she's saying, they're call- she's calling the, two, the, the body a system. Yeah. So now... She's saying her one, she's dating, the two people are dating, and then their multiple personalities started dating it's each like other. It's like when twins date, like two, like you see that where two identical sets <laughs> yeah. of twins get married. So this is really off the reservation with these ones. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's, they say multiplicity, but it sounds, yeah, it's disassociative identity disorder. What a fucking nutcase bunch, eh? Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Thank you for watching that clip, supporting the channel. If you like The Boys Cast, there's a new episode every week at patreon.com slash theboyscast. That's patreon.com slash theboyscast.